Hello friends, a lot of you have asked me for the eight steps to triumph and I'm going to briefly go over them. They are on this booklet which you can buy in Amazon. It's only like three dollars so I'm not gonna become a millionaire but it would really help to push my initiative of um, you, a lot of you may know, many of you may not know but I am really a big advocate to make emotional literacy an integral part in education. So just what we how we teach math and science and language arts, I love for children to learn to be happy. That emotional literacy will be right there on their schedule, just like math and science are. Okay, so um, you can get the the steps right there on on Amazon. I would appreciate if you do and leave me a comment also. Anyways, but I'm gonna go over the steps in case you don't wanna buy. Uh, step one is a clearly identified target can much more easily be hit. So if we go through life blindfolded like this little girl is, we're not going to be very you know, likely to hit that target. However, when we take that blind off off and we try to hit it, it's much more likely that we get it. So that means that when we know what we want and we see clearly where we're going, it's easier to, to get that target. And when I say this, it doesn't mean that we clearly need to know exactly where we want to go. We just have to have a big idea. And then as we take the steps, it just becomes more and more clear. Okay, step two is a student who wants to learn, always writes notes. In the little prints, it says um, that a goal without a plan is just a wish, right? So we want to make sure that we have a plan for things. Otherwise, it kind of just remains a wish. Step three is be aware of the different ways fear talks to you. Fear talks to you in lots of interesting ways. Uh, fear talks to you with excuses, brilliant excuses. They are so brilliant that you believe them, right? Uh, it talks to you with procrastination. It talks to you with feeling like a victim. It talks to you blaming other people. So there's a lot of ways that fear disguises itself. So. Uh, we need to really watch out for it. Step four talks about fake it until you make it. A lot of people have mixed feelings about just how I name this step. Uh, I'm not asking people to become fakes and, and to be dishonest, not at all. Fake it until you make it is very based on cognitive behavioral uh, psychotherapy and it's one of the most research um, therapeutic uh, modalities and basically it's asking you to act as if whatever you want in your life is already part of your life so um, when we act as if we are connecting certain parts of the brain that helps you start to practice and and feel like that's more of a possibility for you and step five is silence the power to create all things um, we encourage people to learn how to silence their mind um, on step four and five. We provide some uh, great tools, audio tools for them, uh, affirmations, cognitive behavioral messages with really, really powerful uh, statements that, and not just the statements, but it also has, it, it, bring, it comes with a music that was just created for trying steps that really enhances alpha level of brain functioning okay it's, it's it really helps you to relax and to get deeper so when you hear the messages they really pro you know you help yourself be programmed to to triumph much easier right here it says meditation without intention leads to paralysis of expression so when we're doing that silence we want to make sure that we have a clear intention because otherwise we just stay uh, receiving other benefits yeah it calms us down it lowers our blood pressure however if we really want to reach our dreams and and our goals we really need to have those as the intention right there so um, we can say that meditation without intention leads to paralysis of expression and we can also say meditation with intention leads to creation creation of the life that that you're looking for and the life that that you wish to have okay Step six is life is a boomerang. Be prepared to welcome what you give. You know that these this eight steps are the eight steps that I've used for many years with my patients here at Healthy Connections. Uh, when I developed this framework, I developed it more for children so they understand these steps when, when they're in school. 
but um, children and adults connect very clearly to this poster. Whatever you throw out there, come back to you. I don't think you can see it very clearly. That's why it would be cool if you get the book. Um, but um, this girl is throwing flowers and they're just coming back to her. And this one is throwing lots of not very nice things and they're all coming back to them. So it just says, life is a boomerang. Be prepared to welcome what you give. Step seven is choose people who bring you joy or add to your life. And um, I love the quote that Jim Rohn, uh, Rohn says. He says that we are the average of the five people we mostly hang out around, we mostly spend time with. Um, so you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So it's important for us to check and see who are those five people that we're spending lots of time with. There's a list here of the people that would actually help you get to your goals and dreams faster and the ones to, that would hold you back. So you just need to evaluate and see who are those people and, and uh, what you want to do about it. Okay. And step eight is repetition, repetition, repetition. Um, you may have heard a lot of these steps before but the reality is that we just learn with repetition so we have to do and and uh, and really follow these steps consistently if we really want to make changes in our lives uh, our brains have neuroplasticity they can actually change and that's one of the things that we hope to do right here this is um, a workbook actually of the steps where we actually help people identify the steps and uh, and get more clarity on what they want to achieve uh, step two uh, so we just go through the steps but if i'm willing to do something for you guys now that you watch the whole video um, if you get the book from amazon and you send me a little picture with it or you post something on my social media then i will send you a free pdf of the steps okay and um and you will see from time to time i post things in terms of you know the steps that we work through so maybe you can you can do it that way if not we were here to help you i really appreciate um your attention and i hope to see you again some other time okay thanks bye